Hi guys, welcome to Tax Drive. In this video, I'm going to tell you 15 most important shortcuts that every designer needs to know. Before we get started, I would like to request you to please subscribe to this channel and comment and like in this video so that you can uh, interact and you can ask any question with us. All right, so let's get started. Number one, duplicate layer. In the first, we have one of the most used shortcuts. So this is Control and J. So Control plus J duplicates the layer so you can get yourself a copy of the layer which you are selecting. Number two, switching foreground backgrounds colors. Switch between the color swaps by pressing X on your keyboard and this will swap over the colors which are selected. These are the two colors at the bottom left of your screen in the toolbar. Number three, move in the canvas. Move from left to right. We can hold control and use the scroll wheels to go up and down. To move left and right, you should hold control and move down. You will move right if you hold control and move up with the score wheel. You will go left to move up and down. We hold shift and use the control wheel to go up and down. Number four, brush size and hardness. This time we are going to use our mouse to adjust the size and also the hardness of the brush. You want to hold Alt and right click and drag it to the right or down. If you drag it to the right, you change the size of it. And if you drag it down, you change the hardness. Number five, undo. And finally, we get to the things uh, undone because it, let's be honest, we, we make all mistakes. And to correct the mistakes, we press Control, Alt and Z to undo. And if you are on Windows and for your Mac, uh, you press Control, which is Command and Z. You can also redo by pressing Control and Z. All right. Number six, uh, create new layer. If you hold Control, Alt, Shift and you get yourself a new layer. This is where you can save some time from going to the icon at the bottom. Number seven, size of brushes. This shortcut is one of my personal favorite. I use it all the time, no matter if you're on the laptop or computer. You can use it if we use the square brackets on your keyboard to make the size of brush or any other adjustment to the size. You can use the first one to make it smaller and the second one to make it larger. All right, number eight, pen tool shortcuts. Using the pen tool, we can hold control and click anywhere on the screen to get ourselves a straight line. This will automatically make the line straight. So you can either have it as 90 degrees or you can have it at zero. So you can also have it between 45 degrees and this will make it straight automatically. It will lock it and whichever one is, you know, closest to that one, the one that will make so it's closer to 90 and it will make it 90. Number nine, quick switch to zoom. The most useful shortcut in Photoshop definitely has to be the zoom tool. The zoom tool allows us to zoom into the little detail and zoom out once we're done editing the small details by holding alt and using the scroll wheel when you can zoom up by scrolling up and scrolling down to zoom out. Number 10, switching between the tools. Tool selected, you can quickly switch between the free hand tool by holding space. You can hold the space bar and use the left side of the mouse to move around. All right, number 11, color picker. This is a cool Photoshop color picker shortcut. Alt, Shift, and right click for Windows or Control Option Command and click for Mac. It offers a gorgeous color picker with the color wheel and only with a GPU enabled. Uh, preferences are under General tab. Number 12, hide panels. Hit tab, you can always unhide your panel by pressing tab again or hovering over the edges to show the panels and toolbar temporarily. All right, next, number 13, change the canvas size. Control Alt C for Windows or Command Option C for Mac opens the canvas size panel so you can easily add more room to your Canva in a pinch. All right, the next one, text size. This is for Windows or Command Option and or for Mac. This allows you to increase or decrease the size of the selected text. And moving on, the last one, move. 
hold down command or control it's the fastest way to move something quickly and then switch back to the previous tool all right guys so now you know the important photo shortcuts hope you enjoyed this video and you find this video and these shortcuts really useful support us by sharing this video liking this video commenting if you have any question and subscribing to our channel see you next time